Hey guys, it's Danny. Alrighty, today I'm gonna make an update on a few orchids that you guys requested. Some of the orchids you probably didn't see in a long, long time, or you're just curious how they're doing. So let's start with the Angricum magdalene. Well, a while back I was telling you that it suffered from crown rot, but there was a nubbing growing from its axis, and I really, really hoped it was a keiki. And behold, it really is a keiki. Now, this is encouraging news, but it also means that I have quite a few years ahead of me before I can see this orchid in bloom. However, I'm pretty happy I didn't lose it overall. Right now, she's doing quite okay, adapting okay in ceramics. I think ingrecums can do really, really well in an organic medium. And the fact that they have pretty thick roots makes the bigger ceramics, the bigger granulated one, quite optimal for their growth. So I'm really happy about this guy. But, yeah, most probably we won't see any blooms anytime soon. And here we have the Phalaenopsis Mini Mark. If you don't know its history, I actually have a video on this guy. You can check it right here or in the link from the description. Now, this guy has a pretty awful history. He was attacked by spider mites and he lost all of his leaves at some point. Anyway, you can check out that video. And I was really considering not bringing this guy with me because, as you can see, the pitting on the leaves is really, really awful. However, the new leaves are looking great. No more pitting. I make sure that he stays clear of spider mites and, as a result, the leaves are clear. Now, you might notice he actually looks a little different. Yes, that's because I cut the stem. So, because this orchid lost all of its leaves, it had a pretty large leafless and pretty ugly stem and it was already dry and it had roots above the dry section. So recently what I did was cut the stem. This is why it's a bit wobbly. I cut the stem right here and I potted it quite on top of the medium. In a little while, the roots will spread and will anchor the orchid so everything should be okay. Even though it's a little bit wobbly now, he doesn't seem to mind it. The portion of the stem that I cut was completely dry. However, I wanted to pot him quite on top of the medium to avoid further rotting or infection if there is anything alive in the stem, but I don't think it is and I also coated it with cinnamon to dry it further, a little bit of cinnamon, not too much, and he's actually doing okay. The roots are growing, there are roots inside the pot as well, they just need to grab onto the medium and pot a little better to anchor this orchid. But the leaf is growing, it's looking quite great, and I really hope I will get a few blooms from this guy as well. I'm hoping these leaves will shed pretty soon, as you can see, they don't look all that great. I really don't mind if they will shed. However, I think this guy is on the right track. Now, here's one you really might not recognize. Yeah, that's all I have left from the Epidentrum Crystal Valley Red Star, which is a shame because he's really a beautiful, gorgeous orchid. Ooh, a lot of words there. But what happened was, before I actually arrived here, I kept my orchids in water to try to treat them against spider mites easier. Anyway, what happened was the older canes lost all of their roots and they did not want to produce any more roots or grow or do anything, but they did want to produce a keiki. And this is the keiki. So what I did was wait until the canes depleted and fed this keiki. And the keiki has some roots of his own, as you can see right here. So I waited for those roots to grow a little bit and then I potted it separately. When I potted it, believe it or not, it did not have leaves. It only had one leaf that was still closed. It was not even open, sadly. But I potted it and I'm keeping it moist all the time. I do not allow it to go dry. And already, I believe, yeah, I believe the roots grew a little bit and anchored it better because it was really wobbly. I was really, really careful not to bump it over. So as you can see, this is the portion of the stem of the older cane. I cut below and above the keiki. So I did not cut the keiki or twisted it in any way. I just preferred to cut the existing cane and I think he's doing good. Ever since I did this, which happened about a month and a half ago or two, um, I think he's been growing roots. He's also been growing this leaf and this other one. So as you can see, it's a tiny dude. I have a lot of weight in front of me, but I think I was able to save the orchid overall. However, yeah, if you wondered what happened to this guy, yeah, this is what happened. And speaking about epidendrums, this is my other one, the stem for the anum galaxy. He's doing quite okay. He's grown this new pseudobulb ever since we arrived here, which is looking quite nice. I believe it will be slightly bigger than the other one, which is okay. Now with this guy, 
article suggests that they hate repotting and they will stay a lot of time. I did not experience this with my um, Stanfordianum. I think I repotted him three times already ever since I got him. I was forced to, but he bounced back really fast. He grew roots. He kind of enjoys the water. I know every article says that you kind of need to let them more dry. No, this guy doesn't enjoy that. The pseudobulbs will shrivel instantly and the roots seem to grow better when they're constantly a little bit damp. So that's what I'm doing. Um, I'm just going with what the orchid tells me. I'm not sure if it's gonna bloom anytime soon because of the transition. Also, I think he's a bit young and a little bit staled or a little bit set back. But um, yeah, he's doing quite okay. And here's an orchid you really didn't see any update on. This is the Kirchara Jairak Kiss um, spot lip. Yeah, I got this from Schwerter. It's supposed to be a Cattleya type orchid, a complex hybrid, intergeneric actually. And this guy is really doing well. As you can see, the root system is amazing. And I have to tell you, when I got this guy here, he didn't really have any roots. They all pretty much died. However, you can see the amount of roots it produced. It's quite impressive. It also grew this pseudobulb right here and has a few ants on it. Anyway, they don't attack the orchids. I'm not sure if it will bloom. I don't see any signs of sheets or anything of the sorts. However, it is quite impressive. It does have a decent size, so this tells me the orchid is receiving quite adequate care. The root system looks lovely. Not sure if this will bloom, but I'm really hoping the next pseudobulb will bloom. So this guy is doing quite fine. And this is the Arrangus rotostricta. Well, the full name for this orchid is the Arrangus luteo alba variety rotostricta. Now, I had a lot of trouble with this orchid. I mistreated it a lot in the past. However, ever since we arrived here, I just let it be uh, potted like this. I kept it hydrated and as a result it grew this leaf ever since we arrived here. You can see some of the older leaves fell during the move. That's pretty okay. I do have faith in this orchid that it will bounce back and it will do quite great. However, again, we have quite a lot of time in front of us until I actually see any blooms. This is what I suspect. However, this leaf looks promising. Okay, and this is the Phalaenopsis j Hill's pink girl. Actually, it's not the mother orchid. I gave the mother orchid away. This is its keiki. Now, this was a basil keiki on the orchid and we removed it. If you're interested to know how I went about it and how to remove basil keikis in general, if you ever want to, you can check the info card right here. Or of course, you can find the link in the description below if you cannot see info cards. Anyway, he's doing quite okay. Um, he grew this leaf, which is, uh, yeah, you can see it's tinier. He had some spider mite issues in the past, but he's quite okay now. And he's growing a brand new little leaf here. So I'm really hoping this winter or this autumn, I will see some flowers from this guy. Also, he's already very well anchored. You can see the roots have grown inside the medium. Phalaenopsis in general do very, very well in ceramics and in organic medium. And this guy is anchored pretty, pretty well. So yeah, I still have it. It's doing quite okay. And hopefully we'll have some blooms soon. Okay, somebody actually asked me about the Mastavalias that I received. Well, one of them died. The one that was really dehydrated and had no more roots really could not be saved. There was no life tissue anymore. If you don't know the history, these guys spent one month on transport from Germany to my place. And for Mastavalias, this is horrible because they do like to stay moist. However, this other one, which is the <laughs> Huayana Pichu, She's doing quite okay trying to bounce back. She's not like in tip top condition as you can see, but I do have a few roots and she sprouted some new growth. This is one, let's try to focus on it. And also I see another one here. There are a few in the back as well. So she is pulling through, amazingly enough. I really did not expect this one to pull through. However, you can see the new growth is pretty mangled. This is dehydration and I cannot really do anything about it because the orchid doesn't have a good root system just yet. But I really hope it's gonna grow. And this is a good sign because new growth will produce the new root system. Okay, and lastly, this is the Bolara Peggy Ruth Carpenter. No, it's not. <laughs> If I will remember the name, I'll redo this shot, but if I don't, I'll just put it on the screen. Somebody asked me about it, if I still have it. Yes, I do, um, but this one, oh, these roots are dead, I need to cut them. I kind of bumped it over, and as you can see, it's pretty raised in the pot. I'm not sure if I want to move it or just complete the pot with some medium. So I'm not sure what I want to do right now. However, it does have some roots because the pseudobulbs are not depleted and also it is producing new growth, finally. 
and uh, ever since I got it, it produced this new growth, but it did not bloom, and now I have a new growth here, so I really hope it will do well. It did not like the move, I have to say, which is weird, because my other Bellaras did quite okay, let's say, um, but this one, not so much. However, let's see, these are dead. This, this is dead. <laughs> Ooh, these are dead. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna cut them off right here and then pour some medium around it so I get the medium to the level of new growth and pretty much that's it. So this orchid does have some good roots somewhere in the pot. These are not the good roots, as you can see. So yeah, it's a good thing I bumped into it. But anyway, yeah, she's still around, hoping she will do better. I'll take care of it. And this new growth looks quite promising. And I think this is about it for the requested updates. Okay guys, thank you for watching this video. If you have other updates or other things you'd like to see, just let me know in a comment below. And in my next uh, requested updates video, I will feature the orchids you want to see. So if you like to stay up to date and watch more orchid videos from me, simply subscribe to my channel. I post on a regular basis. Feel free to leave me other questions or suggestions for videos in the comment section below. And if you ever want to send me a letter, do so at the address you see on the screen or in the description below. Choose an option on the screen if you'd like to watch another orchid video or visit my website orchidnature.com. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, all that good stuff because sharing actually helps my channel. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye!